Hello! Are all of your favorites for avatars and worlds full and you wish you could save more of them than just the ones you have available in-game? Even if you have VRG Plus? Well, I want to show you a way how I personally save all of my avatars and my worlds externally. And in there I have unlimited space and some additional features. You may ask how you can access all of these in-game. So basically for worlds, you have the link in here and you get to the website and you can launch the specific world with whatever instance type you want select the server create and invite me and then you're in game and get an invitation and you can join that and it basically works the exact same with avatars if you have some avatar that you want to change in for example this thing is still bright you can open this in the website Click on change into avatar and now I don't have this shown, but basically your avatar will change. Surprise. And then you can access all of your worlds and avatar favorites, unlimited amount of them outside of the game and inside of the game. So how can you set this up? I switch to my laptop now. There's no camera here uh, because there I have everything on zero. Nothing is installed already. so. On any system that you have, you will be able to follow these instructions step by step. There's a couple of instructions, you need to install a couple of things. It takes about 10 minutes, but then you really have unlimited favorites for avatars and worlds, and that's really nice. So we'll start by installing Python. Link is in the description, download Python and install it. You will have to make sure to check this thing down here, add python.exe to path. And then you can click install now. Okay, now that Python is installed, we need to install Exif tool. This tool allows us to write the link and all the other information into the metadata of the images. So we need to download the corresponding zip file. And getting this right is a little bit of an extra step. So first of all, we need to extract everything from the zip folder. Okay. And inside of this, we have an exe file, but this is not an installer, but this is just the tool itself. And we want Python to be able to access this tool. So in order to get this working, we need to first of all rename this uh, and delete the minus K. So we just have exe tool.exe. And now you have to do something a little bit interesting. You have to go to Windows search and look for system environment variables. Open this thing. Click on environment variables and here's the path variable. You double click on this and then you see all of these paths here. And it's important that these two files, the exiftool.exe and this folder, are inside one of these paths in here. So if we go and select the new explorer, paste this in here. Now this is this path. Now we can copy this and this in here and when that is done basically we can use the exif tool within any location in our system so if you open the command line and say exif tool right here it will be able to actually execute the tool the next thing we need to do is install a couple of libraries that the scripts that i made use to automatically fetch all the information so first of all we open the command line command prompt and because we installed Python, it automatically includes pip. And now we can type pip install vrchatrp. Takes a little while and then it will download it all. All right, then we do the same thing again with pip install requests, pip install pyexif tool. This is basically the library that allows us to use the exif tool with Python. And last but not least, pip install pillow. Great. The next thing we need to do is install Illusion, which is a very nice tool for saving images and tagging them. So we go to this website, download for Windows in my case. Yes, we can trust this. It's a very nice tool. I've been using it a lot. Once that is downloaded, you can just double click the installer. Go next. 
When that is installed, we can also run Illusion already. And at the start, it will be completely empty with and nothing in here. And now if we want to go and download the current favorites that we have and save them in here, I made two scripts, download avatar thumbnails and download world thumbnails that you have in GitHub. You can download that by clicking on raw, right click, save as, and then save the Python file. Same thing here. And now I would recommend you to make a new folder. I don't know, VR chat favorites and move both of these files inside this. And now you can just go ahead and run them. For example, download avatar thumbnails, click that. And it will ask you to type a number from one to six. What number is that? If you go to the VRChat website, uh, favorite avatars. Basically, if you don't have VRChat Plus, you always have to type one because you only have one playlist and it's going to be avatars one. If you do have VRChat Plus and multiple playlists and you want to, for example, download uh, this playlist here, if you click on it, you see, okay, it's avatars four and then you have to type four into the script. In my case, I will download this playlist main memes, just like as if you have no VRChat Plus. The six avatars, I type one. Then I have to type in my username, my password. Don't worry, none of this will come to me. This should be fairly safe. It's all done locally. Then you will have to enter email verification code. I will look that up on a different computer right now and just type it in. This is something that you will only have to do once every couple of weeks, I think, because it saves the cookie. You just typed it in and now it will automatically download all of these avatars in this very playlist. Press any key to exit and it's done. Now if you look into the folder again, it now has a cookies.txt. This is the information to log into your account and you don't have to always do the MFR, the multi-factor authentication. And you have a new folder avatar thumbnails with these six thumbnails. If we go into Illusion, we can click on Add Location. Go to the folder that you created previously, Avatar Thumbnails. Select Folder, Confirm. And now you will have all of these images in here. I also have something additional. If you select all of them, go to Settings, Import and Export, Import Tags from File Metadata. It will have some tags like the performance rating, and also just, just avatar in general. Then you can filter for very poor avatars, for example, or excellent avatars. And if you click on them, it will also have the creator, the creator of the avatar who uploaded it, the link to that avatar, and the description is the actual name of the avatar. The same thing works for worlds. If we go back here, double click download world thumbnails. In here, it will ask you to type a number from zero to three. Once again, if we go to favorite worlds in here, you will see in the URL it says world zero for this playlist, worlds one for this playlist, and, and so on. For the demonstration, I will use world zero. So we go back to the script, type zero. Once again, gotta log in with your account data. And because we already did the multi factor authentication with the other script, this one can also take that information out of the cookies. And it will now download all of these images. Great, that's done. Press any key to exit. And now we can see there's a different folder of world thumbnails with all of these images. And now if we go to illusion, add another location, world thumbnails, confirm. Now we will have all of that here as well. Now we can also select everything again, settings, Import export input tags from file metadata. Now you will have all of these worlds with the tags that are set by the creators who uploaded the world. And you will always have a world tag at the end as well. So you can 
search for world and then you have all the worlds or you can also just do it by the location and filter it like that between avatars and worlds and if you click on the world you will have all the information in there whenever you import new stuff then it will always be a little bit messy in the tags i personally organize them like this avatar world pictures and then i have some more um separate tags and organized and structured with colors i have a folder with all the tags that are imported then i have a custom tag with ones that i made myself uh and yeah basically you can organize it in a way that you find your avatars your worlds and that you have a nice structure and you have an unlimited amount i hope i can help anyone with this maybe you can also feel free to edit the script in any way that you want it's uh, all public i I'm not a coding person, so there is probably very scuffed code inside. Don't blame me. I just wanted to have more slots for favorites and avatars. So I had to find a solution for myself. And this is how I did it. With that, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. See you next time and bye bye.